Hey guys, this is Captain Frugal reporting for duty. And if you're like me, you're always looking for something new, a new microphone, something to make your setup good. Or maybe you're just starting into getting podcasting or making videos and you need a microphone, but you don't have a huge budget of a hundred plus dollars. Now I know a hundred actually is pretty cheap for a mic, but you know, sometimes we just can't afford that. And sometimes the USB option is really good. So today I'm going to be reviewing this microphone here, this Miano PM461T microphone kit. And we're going to see how well it holds up to other microphones. This is around a $36 microphone, $37. And we're going to be comparing it to none other than a, another microphone close to its class, the Blue Ice. Now this is the Blue Ice one, not the higher version. This is the $50 Blue Ice. We're going to compare it and see how well it sounds to see. Is it worth just getting the cheaper one? These are both USB mics, so let's jump in and get the review started. Alright all you wonderful people, here is the USB microphone with mic gain, the Miano Cardioid Studio Condenser Mic with metal pop filter shock mount for streaming, podcast, recording, YouTube, Twitch, compatible with PC or your laptops. It comes in a nice sturdy box. Uh, this is the second brand of my, uh, the second microphone this brand I've reviewed and they both come packaged really well. They give a lot of info right on the back here so you can get all the key features. You can see the frequency response which is pretty flat which is pretty darn good. Often the kind of frequency I like to have when I'm doing voiceover work or things like podcasting, any kind of narration, things of that sort. Let's open this thing up and see what's inside shall we? There we go. And as we can see right off the bat, it's packaged really nice in a hard foam. It comes with an instruction manual in case you don't know how to plug a USB in or <laughs> use a microphone. Wow. Well, I can tell you right off the bat here, something, it's got some really good, well done pictures. They're not just generically drawn, but on top of that, as you see here, look at that, that nice color. It's really step by step. So if you are a complete noob, but just as a good microphone for a beginner, it comes really well. And it's colored really, really well too. I like that. It provides a lot of information. I really don't think you can go wrong with that. Next, we're going to see what else is in here. Oh, okay. Here we are. Wow. This is going to be the the uh, shock mount for the mic. As you see there, it's going to be uh, hook this pop filter onto that as well. And that's going to help with the plosives. Here's going to be the stand that the, the shock mount mounts onto. And this is, let me get this out of the way here. Here we go. And uh, this is, wow, is this the microphone? This microphone is not very big. It's a really small microphone. You know, it's not going to have a huge footprint. Look at that. It's small. Yeah, sort of cute. <laughs> it does look pretty sturdy. And I wouldn't be dropping it. I would never drop a mic like this. It's got a decent amount of weight. The volume gain knob seems to go pretty well. And there, once again, we have the USB. There we are. We're going to move these to the side because let's see if, what else comes with this because we need the base to hook that thing onto. Can't just sit there without a heavy base. All right, we're going to move this here and see if that base is down below. Ah, here we go. We have the USB cord and it's got a pretty decent length of cord here. Excellent. Let me that to the side here for later and this should be the heavy base oh yes it's got a nice amount of weight to it you can tell you always want a good weighty base if a company's really cheaping out that base is not very much weight to it and you don't want that because that means your mic can tip over all right so let's set that base down and let's put this thing together let's see what we can get here once again a nice weighty base keeps it from tipping over we're gonna then Screw this shaft in here. This should be very simple to set up. Most of these are pretty easy. Anybody can do it. Once again, great even for a beginner. This should not be a problem. All right. The next thing that's going to be going on to there should be the mount. So we're going to be screwing that mount in as it shows right in the instructions. Screwing that mount right there on there. Now we do want to make sure that we get this lined up properly because if you cross thread that, the plastic uh, threads on the shock mount could ruin it. So we don't want that to happen. We don't want to strip that out. So always make sure you get that in there nice and straight. 
All right, now once we have that on there nice and straight, that shock mount, the next thing we're going to probably want to put in is either the microphone or the pop filter. In this type case, I'm going to put the mic in there. So here we go. As you see there, it's going to screw in. Now there is a little uh, nut there at the bottom underneath the shock mount you're going to have to hold on to. Otherwise, as you see here, it's just going to spin. So we want to hold on to that while we screw that in. It shouldn't have to screw in really tight either. It should just be lightly snug. There we go. All right, once we have that screwed in, now it's time to put on the pop filter, and that's going to squeeze right onto the bracket right in the front. So what you want to do is turn it so that way you can reach the gain knob, and that's going to snap in right there in the front. All right, guys, there we have it. It's all put together. Really simple, really easy, really quick. The next thing we need to do is just plug it in and test it out. This is the Mono microphone set at around 75% gain, six inches in front of it. Now, once again, the gain is adjustable. I'll tweak that a little bit in this as well. So once again, I am six inches directly in front of it. Now I'm going to turn it to the side, to the left here, and you can hear the rejection, how it changes the sound. Okay, now once again, I'm now going to move it to the other side, the right side. So now I'm facing the right side and you can hear how the rejection is to the sound. Now I'm going to go back to the front. Once again, we are at the front directly six inches in front of the mic. Now I'm going to rotate it to the back of the mic here so we can hear how it sounds in the back. So this is how it sounds in the back right now so you can hear the rejection. All right, this is once again six inches in front of the mic with the gain at 75%. Now I'm gonna turn the gain down to half. This is right at half, you're gonna probably hear the volume down, but sometimes you wanna tweak it to what sounds right for you. Once again, six inches. Now I'm gonna turn that gain up to around 90%. So you still see, I'm still not actually clipping, so that's good. Now I'm gonna go full tilt. This is at 100%. I have the gain at 100%, I'm six inches away. Now I'm going to move a little bit farther with the gain still all the way so you can hear it. All right, now I'm using the Moano microphone at two feet away with the gain full so you can hear how it sounds for audio. All right, and once again, directly in front of the microphone, six inches away, I'm going to do a plosives test, something with a lot of peas. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. So that's how it picks up those plosives. And so you can hear how well it defines those in sounds. This is the Blue Ice microphone. I'm directly in front of it at six inches away. Now I am turning it to the right. So you're hearing how the sound shapes as you go to the right. Notice this is how it's much less. You hear the rejection. Now moving back to the center again. Now I am once again six inches from direct on to the blue ice mic. Now I'm moving to the left. This is how it sounds to the left. Now I'm gonna move back to the front again. Once again, I am six inches in front of the blue. Now I'm gonna to turn to the left again, all the way to the back. Now I'm at the back side, so you hear how much rejection it is. I'm six inches from the back of the blue ice microphone. All right, so this is a good comparison microphone for a sound test. Well, there you guys have it, this budget mic. Yeah, it's small, it's compact, it's sturdy enough. I think as long as you treat it good, it should last. As I said, the one drawback I had against it is I don't like having uh, threaded that's plastic. It, I, if you thread it wrong, I see that could be a problem, but if you watch what you're doing, I don't see that being an issue. The base is nice and weighty, and as we compared it to the other microphone here that's of comparable value and cost, I really like the sound of this one more. So this one's cheaper, and I believe it delivers a better sound quality as more as versatility since you have a game knob. Now, it also comes with the cord, the bundle of all this stuff. Whereas this, the Blue Ice only came with the stand. This came with the stand, the pop filter, which is nothing super fancy, but it gets the job done. Uh, the one major negative I'd say against a mic like this is what I tend to have a mic like this that's a USB mic. I prefer that that mic have an audio headphone jack in it. It's not a deal breaker. You can plug the jack, the headphone jack into your computer, but I like it right on the mic. And I like to have adjustable ability there as well. But hey, you can't have everything. And for this price point, for this microphone, if you're just getting it in started, this is probably a really good start to have. Uh, if, you, if you are interested in maybe a more expensive 
microphone. I do have another one from this brand review available as well. It's a little bit higher price point and you might want to check that one out as well and then find one in your price range that works for you. Well, there you go. For this price point, as I said, I don't think you can go wrong. Also, when I do these reviews, I speak my mind. I don't fluff. I don't cater to anybody. These are all out of my pure views. So I hope you enjoy this video. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And until next time, keep it frugal.